Alright. Welcome to Birth by Sleep in what will hopefully be its final episode. Anyway, I was just back in the land of departure, because I thought... I'd be nice to come back here one more time. So, in terms of progress I made between episodes... Aqua is level 42. Uh, I crafted a new Seeker Mine, and I also picked up Time Splicer. This is our current ability set. I've maxed out all of our D-Links. And I also unlocked Aqua's final finish command, that being Teleport Spike. Though I did rename it, but to what? Well, you're gonna have to... you're gonna have to see. Anyway... Off to Neverland we go. Over there! So close. Too bad, man. Tough break. But <laughs> man. No buts. You know the rules. The first one to find and claim the treasure map gets to be the leader. And that's you. Leader? Uh, of the expedition. Uh, we're going on a treasure hunt. And that's our map you got. What do you mean? I never said girls can't be part of the gang. Come on, Tink. The more the merrier. I'm sorry, but I have something else I need to take care of. Here, you keep it. Too bad. But rules are rules. I guess we'll just have to call off the treasure hunt. Oh, come no. on. <sighs> All right, you win. I'll join you for one expedition. Whoopee! As far as I can tell, we're here. And this mark here is where we'll find the treasure. Enough pointing! Come on, let's go! Wait a second. We still don't even know our leader's name. Shouldn't that have been the first I'm thing Peter you Pan. asked? The jealous one over here is Tinkerbell. And you are... Aqua. So you're Aqua. Huh? Now, first stop, Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, okay. You can hear me, right? I probably should have asked that earlier, now that I think about it. Alright, good. Anyway, Neverland. Well, I don't think there's anywhere really all that new for Aqua to visit in this place. Oh yeah, I uh, never showed off the uh, other stuff. I got Stop Barrier and Ice Slide off screen. Anyway, treasure chest over here. The map. The Mega Potion, and let's see. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but I do see a sticker. Can't reach it. Oh well, we'll be able to change that shortly after we finish this. Well, actually during this world. Anyway, that's what I named Teleport Spike to. And this is Teleport Spike in action. Aqua creates a bunch of orbs and you tap X to... ...teleport around and fling them at enemies. I 
have you now, Peter Pan? Today's the day I shall be rid of you forever! I'm busy right now, Hook. We're on an expedition. Can't I show you up some other day? You show me up now! Give back me treasure! Who's that? Ah, that's just Captain Hook. He's a two-bit pirate codfish. I'll cleave you into two bits, boy! It's me! I don't know how Smee that heard that. Signal. Fire! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! We're sitting ducks out here. Run! Oh, uh, this is Time Splicer. It's basically one of Vanitas' attacks, but with stop. Anyway, to get out of Teleport Spike, you just, uh... Well, don't press the button for a little bit, and the move will cancel on its own. So you can wait a little bit in between, uh, swings in order to... Uh, delay your attack to the enemy teleports. Hey, Paragon. Swimming over here, we have... Uh, Faraga Burst. That! I told you it was stupid. Anyway, Faraga Burst. Uh, that creates a, well, a giant ball of fire over Aqua's head and causes it to basically shoot all over the place. Oh wait, no, don't discard this command! It's really hard to... to fuse and... I like it. So I'm going to equip it. And I suppose I should swap f triple Faraga for something else. Aroga. And I'm sorry, just let me look at our uh, sticker collection real quick. There we go. Now swim for it, Aqua. Jump. Well, on the bright side, all this falling off is getting me experience through XP Walker. Alright, moving on. There's a chest over there. But first, we gotta kill these guys. And this is Faraga Burst. Basically a guaranteed Firestorm Command style. I think they do a pretty good job of it. Or at least Riku would. Maybe Terra. Don't know if Sora could handle it. I mean, like, in terms of fighting the monsters, he could. Still waiting on someone to get a chainsaw keyblade somehow. And Thundaga Shot is still awesome. Moving on. What is it? The mark on the map points all the way up there. And this is where we get Aqua's final oh, movement right. ability. A little pixie dust and we'll I be think. there in a jiffy. But we've never had to fly that high before. What if we fall? Hey, when did you two turn into cowards? Don't and you think wouldn't your ability to fly be able to them, prevent Aqua. them from falling? Men, only the bravest of the brave can claim that treasure. 
Yeah, we know. Tink, if you would. We haven't got all day. Here we go! <laughs> I do wonder why they didn't bother, like, uh, changing up how many, uh, which of the Lost Boys would appear in which story. I guess it would be a little, make a little more sense to, uh, keep it consistent between all three stories. Alright, tap that open to get a fleeting crystal. Oh yeah. The PSP... Well, I never had a PSP, but... I mean, it was a good system, just not the strongest in the world. Up here, Raga. Here we are. First, over here to grab that chest and kill that on burst. Open up that to get another time splicer. Drop there to get a sticker. Whoop! There we go. If you fall here, then you'll end up in a different area. And you'll have to climb back up here. Alright, over here, let's see. Aqua's double flight ability is, like this world. I just don't know which room it's in. Yeah, and the various remakes that were on the thing, like Mega Man Powered Up, uh, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, Medieval Resurrection. Speaking of medieval, doesn't that come out sometime soon? Or is that a 2020 release? I forget. Yep, we made a circle. We started? Mean we went all the way around Neverland for nothing? Well, you conquered all sorts of obstacles to get here. And to me, that's certainly not nothing. You know, I had you all wrong. You were just looking out for them back there. Being a good leader. Yeah, of course I was. Hmm. You're too late, Peter mm -hmm. Pan! I'll be taking what's mine now! It's Hook! It's me. Secure me treasure. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah! What is it now? 
Captain, it's the treasure. It's been, been... Spit it out, you idiot! Hogsfish! It's all junk! What do you mean, junk? Those are our treasures, Hook. But what did you do with my treasure? Oh, we lost that at all. You what? Well, that means it's still on the island. You just gotta go looking for it again. That sound. There's no water deep enough. Not you again. No, get away Wait, from how me. is? Smith. Oh, he's in Do the. Something. He's in the deeper area of that river. Wait, <laughs> is this? Oh, Ventus left that here. I guess it's a special keep. Oh, I know they can. I've seen them. Well, don't worry about him. He said it would be all right without. Well, him. actually, I'm pretty they sure they were alligators. Again with even better treasures. But pretty similar. Maybe enough to fill a hundred treasure chests. It was this one time my family and I were out that camping for Cub Scouts. Uh, there was like a we were on a trail out by a hill. What's the matter? Uh, and there was a river it's at the nothing. bottom. We saw three three alligators uh, sunning themselves on the uh, at the bottom. Oh, there's double flight. We don't get it in a chest. But anyway, this allows Aqua to double jump, and I'd better equip it. Let's see here. Just gonna clear out this because it gets on nerves. Okay. Alright, before we go in back to the uh, Indian camp and face off with the boss, let's head over here to get the fireworks sticker. So, like, one of those alligators I mentioned actually started moving up the, uh... Like, up the bank towards us at some point, so we got out of there. And, oh. Anyway, in here, of course, there's a Moogle shop and two treasure chests. Mind shield and an elixir. Anyway... Back to the gully. And back to the Indian camp for a battle with... So, have a good time hanging out with the kitties? Of course. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, wait, Aqua did leave that behind, didn't she? How'd you get that? You left I it sitting in the chest. Outgrown such a childish toy. Dude, if you ask my opinion. Uh. Well, I think it can be fixed. Maybe. Well, you'd have to tape it Just back together. Like I've outgrown my need for you. One thing I will say about Vanitas is that his keyblade just looks really friggin' cool. You freak! I mean... Actually, never mind, I won't bring up that role. And if you wonder why, it was in a uh, direct-to-video Disney sequel. Go! Gotcha! Escape this! Or just keep charging right into it. Thank you! <laughs> that earns us the Ghost Drive command style. And I didn't even lose half my HP.
Aw, oh, why couldn't that have landed blade first in his chest? Aqua, we barely lost a third of our HP. He's finally finished. Okay, I know, gameplay and story segregation, but still. And I don't think he's done yet. In fact, since we've played Ven's story, we know he's not. Ven. Terra. I can rest easy. Okay, I could get this if maybe you haven't been getting any sleep throughout this entire game. I might skip that cutscene in KH3. Okay, yeah, I'm guessing here that she hasn't gotten any sleep in a while. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Nah, they're acting pretty similar though, <laughs> brothers. I'm fine. Oh no! Look at Vent's treasure! It's okay, Peter. Whatever it is that binds us together isn't gonna break so easily. And that's our real treasure. I think oh. Ventus knew that. That's why he left this behind. You must really be close. And that's something pretty special. You and Ventus and Terra, was it? One day, you should all come back. I'd like that. Yeah, well... We haven't seen Neverland since this game, so... Probably not gonna happen for a little while. Uh, Pixie Petal. For Aqua, this Keyblade is actually kinda useful. If it wasn't about to probably just get upstaged by her... next Keyblade. If I had to guess, I'd say it's either the Destiny Islands or the Mysterious Tower. Destiny Islands! ready for the storm that's coming. You want to tell her or should I? Hey, wait up! Too slow, Sora. See you at the finish line. Well, that explains why that minigame in Kingdom Hearts 1 is kind of hard. One more time! You just got lucky, well, Riku is a little older than Sora, so it makes sense he'd be a little faster, stronger, etc. Like, I think he's a year older. <laughs> you could at least introduce yourself. This boy looks so sincere. Just like Tara. And this one, he's a spitting image of Ven. <laughs> hmm? One of you might be special enough. Hey, you two mind telling me your names? I'm Sora! And you? Riku. Someone has already passed this boy the power. Was it Terra? Yep. Hmm. Sora, do you like Riku? Of course I like him. He's my best friend. Good. So then if something happens and Riku is about to get lost, or say he starts wandering down a dark path alone, 
You make sure to stay with him and keep him safe. That's your job, Sora. And I'm counting on you to do it, okay? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Sora got the kingdom key. Or at least it's one reason why. You know, I really hope we go back to the Destiny Islands one day. If only to see what's past this island. Like, you know, expand it out into the ones where Sora and Riku's families actually live. Maybe a completely unseen one. one it's an archipelago, is isn't it? For any friendship. I learned it the hard way. I wouldn't wish our lives on those children. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> newsflash. They're gonna come Tara, through those lives anyway. Please tell me. What's to become of us? Mmm. Well... Alright, Stormfall. The final form of Aqua's Keyblade. Is that... Mickey? Yep. How'd this happen? Oh, must be young soon. Don't worry. I'll take you back to him. You know, I don't get why they do face shots on the armor that doesn't have, like, you know, an opaque face mask. Like, if you can't see their facial expression, why zoom in on the face? Hmm. Maybe I'm just thinking too hard about it. Uh, before we go to the Mysterious Tower and really enter the endgame... Uh, first, I want to show off Pixie Petal. Three Strength, six Magic, and Stormfall. Five Strength, four Magic. Technically, Pixie Petal works better with Aqua's stats. But I used Ends of the Earth for Terra and Lost Memory for Ven. I gotta use Stormfall for Aqua. We have Peter Pan's D-Link, of course. Ghost Drive. When you're using a command style, follow it up with Magnet-related commands, Thunder-related commands, or by using a reprisal. Uh, like blocking and using uh, Command Blast. I mean, a uh, Counter Blast. And finally, I would like to complete Aqua's sticker album before we go to the Mysterious Tower. Thankfully, there's only two stickers left to find, and I know where they both are. One in the Dwarf Woodlands and one in Disney Town. So, let's go to let's go to the Dwarf Woodlands first. Darn it. I wanted to go into Ghost Drive to try to show it off, but... Well, oh, didn't work. Alright. That's one. That earns Aqua Deep Freeze. 
bubbles go there, and the last two are in the Keyblade Graveyard. Hmm? Oh, right, I didn't have Deep Freeze before this. Here it is. Uh, basically it causes every enemy around you to freeze. And then you can deal more damage by attacking them. Now, off to the Mysterious Tower. Oh, uh, just to get it out of the way. What game would you guys want me to stream tomorrow? Would you want me to start with, uh, Dream Drop Distance? Or would you want to take a break from Kingdom Hearts for a little bit and go to, uh, Steven Universe Save the Light? Ericus's star has blinked out. I am afraid that means he has been struck down. Uh, the master? But who is responsible? Say an art. Master Xehanort. Thank you. Terra. Terra did not... I mean, he weakened no. him down, but... That's absurd! Terra would never! I hope with all my heart that you are right about your friend. They fought, but... Stars cannot tell me. Xehanort was the one who actually landed Terra. the killing blow. Ericus would have pulled through if they'd stopped if he hadn't shown up. Where wielders of those weapons once waged war. Alright. I have to go after him. And see if it's true. Well, at least she's willing to hear his Beyond side of the story God. first. <sighs> yeah. Because that's kind of the problem with prequels sometimes. You gotta get the characters into the, into the positions they were in in the first part somehow. I'll find a way to get you out of this. I do like that Aqua is willing to hear Terra's side of the story, even though, uh, uh despite what Eric, what Yen Sid just told her. Uh, we get Donald and Goofy's D-Links, which I think means Aqua has the most D-Links out of anybody in the game. Keyblade Graveyard, here we come. Hmm. It is pretty similar. But we haven't seen the Pride Land since KH2 and probably won't see it again. The three of us will always be one. You know what? Now that Kingdom Hearts 3 has come out, I can actually say she's right, in a way. It's 
especially when you consider how certain things went down in in three. Though I'd like to keep details until we get to that part of three. Also, the D is backwards in that logo, and that just bugs me. Like, I know it's the hilt, but still. Anyway, get a Mega Potion. An Elixir. There's the first of this place's two stickers. Right here is the map. Well, I wonder who mapped this place out. get rid of all this. Hmm, I left some treasures behind in Neverland. Now well. Alright, one more. Wait, there was a sticker in the mysterious tower? We'll go back and get it after we get the ones here. Tornado. There we go. Ghost drive. This one's all about teleporting. Yeah. 
Rocket Burst. Hero Graphica. Aroga. There we go. Actually, Zero Gravica plus Faraga Burst is actually a pretty pow powerful combination. Because the enemies can't move around to dodge it. There we go. be Aqua's last sticker, but I've got to go back and get the last one from the Mysterious Tower. If I was doing post-commentary, this is where I'd say cut, but I'm not. Okay, now where is that sticker? Not through here. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, once Aqua... They put a lot of Aqua stickers up somewhere high. And that gets Aqua the Rhythm Mixer style. Just like the others do. this story to a close. Been a pleasure playing, Aqua. See you in three. Or, actually, we're not quite done with you yet, but... You know what I mean. Seen this scene already. Seen this one, too. How about you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Terra. You can't be too happy about him deep-sixing your master. And this asshole. Who are you? Oh boy, he has you a lot think of names. You two have got some grand role to play. As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua! Alright, Aqua's first final boss is Brag. Or rather, the first phase of Aqua's final boss fight is this guy. Hello? Two, three, four, five, six. Hit him with most of those. I 
goodness for Leaf Bracer. Tracking moves like Paraga Burst. And, well, your shot locks. Okay, that ignores your block. Good to know. Of course, not everything from Faraga Burst will auto-target. But like, Teleport Spike... ...is... Actually, Teleport Spike is probably the absolute best finish command Aqua could have for this fight. Simply because, well, each one will target his new location as long as you had him tar targeted before he teleported. Nope, he's not. All right. I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time. I'd say he got it. What? Uh, Fen! Still can't move. Aqua! <gasps> I'm asking you. Alright, I'm not gonna fault them for that one. He caught her Just by surprise. Put an end to me. Gosh, I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, Mickey. Look at what he's holding. Ben. Oh. I gotta admit, I really want to use that thing in a game at least once. Thank you, Mickey. That's not Ben. Correct. I am not Ventus. Keep in mind, Ven's his final boss battle within his heart is going on at the exact now. same time as this. This keyblade will open a door. One that leads to all worlds. Then, keyblade-bearing warriors will flock here, from each and every one of them, to battle for the light within Kingdom Hearts. Not counting you and Xehanort, and only three like ever existed says, at this point. The Keyblade War will begin! Shut up! I'm sick of your nonsense! Give Ben his heart back! Oh, he's busy working on that himself right now. Anyway, we got a double boss battle on our hands. Aqua's final boss is a team fight. Her and Mickey versus Vanitas. Full power. <laughs> Mickey will occasionally initiate these team-up attacks that Vanita seems happy to run right into, so thank you for that. But don't be fooled, he hits hard. Really hard. Maybe I should have equipped Cure Block. Okay, yeah, when you see Mickey crouch down 
like that, that's when it's time to activate Burst of Faith. And it deals a lot of damage. Looks like you're too slow to dodge all of these. Not, not that he's too slow to dodge any of them. Yeah, whatever. Mickey, we could do with another burst of faith right now. Oh, never mind. Alright, pal. Let's Let's finish him off. Okay, that's a blow you wouldn't immediately get up from. No matter what kind of armor What's you're wearing. Wrong? Giving up already? <sighs> Tara. Ben. Lend me strength. Just wasting your energy. Damn. What? You lose. And Ven just finished his final boss battle. Yeah, that's why this doesn't happen in Kingdom Hearts 3. And that is Aqua's ending. Well, this is. Where am I? Also, her arm looked really weird there for a second. Aqua, you lost consciousness. Fortunately, Mickey found you and Ventus drifting in the lanes between, and brought you back to me to receive proper care. I am sorry, but there was no sign of terror. There is a reason for that. I see. Ven. Ventus. The boy's heart is sleeping. When will he wake? I could not say. It is almost as though his heart has left. I mean, Should he shattered it into a million pieces. He may very well wake. Should it not, then he may sleep like this for all eternity. No. I'll keep him safe. Until he wakes. Forever if I have to. Ooh, I will tell you what your that's... friend needs right now. It is not your protection. He needs you to believe. 
you and there's see, those old timey Disney morals. Hangs in the balance. In a way. It sleeps in the place between light and darkness. From all I can perceive, that means he will be looking for a friend, one who believes in him, to show him the way home. Just as long as you love him, then Ventus will be able to find you when he wakes. He can follow that love back to where he belongs. The realm of light. Ah. Oh. Don't you worry, oh, that's not entirely hopeless. I believe in Ben, too. Gosh, he's been as good a friend to me as anybody. I mean, we and only ran into each other, like, in once, All but when you fight off someone you evil together, to it kind of... It kind of helps form a bond quickly. Three lights. Tara. But Tara's gone. Maybe for good. Mm -mm. I think... I know how to find him. Mm -hmm. Alright, that was Aqua's ending. Skipping the credits. Alright. So that was Aqua's final bit. Wow, it didn't even take an hour. Uh, and I know the final episode won't take that long. It's literally just two boss battles and a bunch of cutscenes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a five-minute break so I can uh, get some water and stuff. And then we'll I'll load up the final episode, pause as soon as the cutscene begins, and then uh, go back to live. And then at the end of that, I will decide... Uh, what we're going to be playing next, and who knows, we might start it today, because this isn't going to take very long. Alright. Be back in five minutes, folks.